Hello gamers, happy holidays. Today I'm going to show you shared PS4 emulator on the Steam Deck Steam OS because the shared PS4 team has given us a Christmas 2024 update 0.5.0. Okay, um, and I'm going to test out the last Guardian because last time when I showed this off on the Steam Deck, it was like, it had. you can see the polygons, it was in game, we can move around, but it didn't have any texture, so really no graphics. Uh, but now it's been improved upon. And I'm actually using 0.5.1 working progress main version of the emulator. This is the pre-release. I'll show you where to get it uh, later on in the video. I'll show you how to get this up and running on your Steam Deck as well. So stay tuned for that later on in the video. Right now, let's get into some gameplay. Let's see what we're getting into. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, uh, Nintendo Switch emulation is what we talk a lot about. Okay, like this video. And, um, you know, trainers, cheats, mods, stuff like that. If that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. So, as you can see right now, we've actually got a lot of textures that we didn't have last time. So, yeah, it's, it's looking really, really good. Check that out. Finally got some graphics. And look at the feathers of the the animal. Trico? Trico? I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. It's amazing. I think we have to give it the barrels. And okay, let's go get some barrels. It still does have some graphical glitches, but yeah, way, way better than what we had last time. I really like the graphics of this game. I think we have to wait until nightfall. So there's one more barrel up there. Not sure if you can get it right now. Yeah, I don't think you can get it right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah, so if you want to try this out, I'll show you how to get this up and running on your Steam Deck. So I'll take you there right now. Let's go to the desktop mode and I'll show you how to get this up and running. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to prepare your own ROMs. Okay, I've got my ROMs in my PS4 ROMs directory. This is title ID of the game Last Guardian. 
Um, and the structure looks something like this, okay? And the second thing you need is you need to download the PS4 emulator, Shad PS4. Okay, so go over to this GitHub page. I'll link it in the description. I'll link it in the description. Once you're here, go to releases and get the latest release, I guess. Uh, I'm using the pre-release. Okay, 0.5.1. Uh, this is the ver it gets updated frequently. So depending on when you're watching it, you're probably getting a new version. Um, okay, and go to assets. And if you're on the Steam Deck, get the Linux QT version. Okay, there's a lot of versions. There's SDL. SDL doesn't have any GUI. All right, uh, get the QT version. Okay, QT, QT. Okay, download this. I've already got it. Mine's right here in my downloads shared PS4 0.5.1. Okay, the zip file. Open up the zip, and it's just one file inside. It's an app image. Extract it over to anywhere you want. Okay, just make sure you know where it is. And just right-click it first. Right-click it and go to properties, and make sure permissions, this is executable. Make sure you check it. Okay, sometimes it's checked already by default. Sometimes it's not. So just double-check. Make sure it is executable. Checked. Okay. And then um, you can run the, run the application. Execute it. And because I've run it before, uh, that's why I've already got the games. First time, if you're running it, you should get this screen. Uh, not this screen, sorry about that. Uh, you should get this. Okay, so it'll ask you to select the games directory, okay? So point it to where your ROM is. Okay, mine's in downloads PS4 ROMs directory. So that's here. And then here, you can also, really, you notice that the, like the, Files where where the files are stored for PS4 uh, shared PS4. It's actually in here. Dot local share shared PS4. Okay, and it's uh, kind of important because if you go back to the shared PS4 GitHub, uh, it does say here. You go to compatibility. It does say here in the info shared PS4 can load some modules in LLE mode. So LLE mode stands for you know subscribe to Grown Up Gaming. That's copied from Mr. Shijano, <laughs> if you understand that. Okay, so uh, it does mean, uh, I think it's low-level emulation, and some are necessary, and some have HLE, so high-level emulation replacements. I think it does help in games, okay? For The Last Guardian, I've actually tried it without these files, and it does run fine, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if you get some crashes, uh, these files will help you out, but these files are not shared online. Uh, you might be able to find it. I'm not sure. It's pretty hard, I think. Uh, but uh, you're supposed to dump them from your own PS4. Okay, maybe I'll do a video showing you how to dump it if you have a modded PS4. Okay, you're supposed to dump your own files. Okay, um, I've got mine right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to locate that folder where my files are for shared PS4. So go to home, and it's in a hidden folder, .local. Okay, so if you don't know how to access your hidden folders, go over to this hamburger button and then make sure show hidden files is checked. Then home, um, here's dot local. You can see it's grayed out. It's it's a hidden folder. Then share, then shared PS4. And then inside here, you've got a sys modules folder. That's where we've got to put our files. So I'm going to select all these, drag them over and oops. Okay, copy here. Okay, I think it helps for some games. Uh, yeah, it's it's good to have them better than not, okay, for this emulator. So if you have it, that's great. If you don't, try to run the game anyway. Okay. And now... Okay. Um, yeah, and then we can... Basically, it my settings is not really... These are pretty much default. Uh, input is default. Graphics... So 1280 by 720, um, V blank divider one. Okay, so yeah. And for the last guardian, there's I don't think there's any patches. Okay, there's no if you want to try to download patches, I don't think there's any patches for this game. Yep, no patches for this game. Just runs. Okay, let's close it. And if you want to run it in gaming mode, obviously go to the shared PS4 app image, right click it, add to Steam. Okay, and then you go to your Steam library, and it should be on your left-hand side here. Double-check the paths. Yeah, everything's right. You don't need to force compatibility because this is already a Linux app. Just run it. Let's see if it works. Okay. 
And let's run the last guardian. Make sure things are working fine. So if this video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button. Really, it really helps out. I'll say it once more time. Hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, so be patient. I think it's going to load anytime soon. Load goes, yep. Here it is. Yeah, it's working fine. Any button in you? Let's make sure we can boot in. Okay, there we go. There you have it, guys. So yeah, I'll leave it here. Let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. I'll try my best to help you out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.